Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Minecraft Medieval build. Now, before I begin this build, uh, I just wanted to say that my channel today, a couple hours ago, just hit 1,000 subscribers, or 1,000 subscribers, however you want to say it. But, um, so yeah, I finally hit 1,000 subscribers, which, to me, is just amazing. Uh, I never really thought I would really ever get that much. Uh, I had a previous YouTube channel with, like, 20. So, uh, so yeah, but, uh, anyways, um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for subscribing, and, uh, yeah, so, and those of you who are, aren't subscribed, uh, I hope you subscribe as well, but, uh, anyways, today I'm gonna be showing you, uh, another medieval house build. Now, this house I really, really love, the way it turns out, so here's the upstairs, second floor, and the... The first floor. So you can see we got a fireplace, you know, come on out. Got a little uh, jungle wood thing. Got that same pillory theme as I had over there. And, uh, oops, spoilers. Ah! Okay. <laughs> but, anyways, as you can see, we got the little, uh, roof things. We got the same, uh, wooden stair idea. Got a fireplace, or I uh, got a chimney with spiked edges and, you know, smoke coming on out. Got the little hangovers and all in all this house looks pretty cool so we'll uh, do another little overview of it again so as you can see here it all is the house in all of its glory and yeah so uh, let's build this thing now pretty much the only thing we're actually like gonna need is everything I have in my inventory so plus plus uh plus red bricks actually there we go uh, so pretty much like all my previous builds we are going to need spruce wood wool oak wood stairs glass panes or glass blocks depending on your choice Wooden door. Uh, for this build, we're gonna need jungle wood stairs and fences, and obviously stone stairs and uh, bricks. And also, we're gonna need some slabs, about enough inventory space. So, anyways, uh, let's uh, let's build this. Bias. Bia. Ah, nothing. Uh, okay. So, I'm uh, pretty much like uh, my first build. Uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna go with that pillar effect. So, pretty much, we want to place on our spruce wood. Have a three wide gap, and then the next spruce wood, uh, another three wide gap, and a spruce wood. Now we're gonna go the uh, this way, and we're gonna do the same thing. One two three space. One two three space. So pretty much this house is just a uh, a square almost. So pretty much just do the others, and now if you're following on, it should look like this. Now if you've watched my other builds, we're gonna take our oak wood stairs and do this to them. To give it a pillory effect that's like supporting up the house, which I personally love this little this little accent or detail. Makes the house look really, really nice. <clears throat> so now the next thing we pretty much need to do is uh, for the first layer, just have a bunch of wool. Uh, put down a bunch of wool. So here we go. I'll leave a space for your door right here. And then just fill this all in with wool. And my cord's getting away. There we go. Alright, so fill this all in with wool. And there we go. So now pretty much next thing we have to do is we have to raise this up four. So one, two, three, four. So each pillar raise it up four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. One, two, three, four. Oops. Uh. Zai. I don't know. I forgot the German uh, words for uh, one, two, and three. I took it, but I forgot. Uh, anyways, <laughs> enough of that. So pretty much we need to make the window. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave a two wide gap right here and here. And we're just going to surround it with that. And it's going to look like that. And now this top spot, you want to leave that blank for now. So pretty much do that all around. Except for the door, you just want to have that filled in like that. So pretty much exactly like the... Uh, pretty much the same now if you see my other builds uh, the windows are exactly the same so you can just go ahead and do that if you've seen them and I like misplacing blocks a lot there we go and last window and here we go <clears throat> now the top bit that is missing stuff we just want to put sideways logs in there like so and yeah so just put sideways logs Sideways logs. Here we go. Perfect. 
bada bing bada boom and there we go so now what we want to do on the uh, top part is we want to do the same exact thing as we did on the bottom so on the pillars that are facing uh, like vertical or which way is up uh, we want to put it upside down stair like that now we don't want to put it on here we don't want to do that we want to put it not that we just want to put it on oh, we want to replicate uh, the bottom but upside down on the top so exactly like this oops here we go and there we go so now if you're following along your house should look a little bit something like this now here's a little bit like the tricky part now what we have to do is if you look at this house it actually uh, extends out one which I personally love that effect so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna place a block here on this corner and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna break this block and now you should have a floating block like that next thing we want to do is we just want to break sideways logs all the way until this upside down stair place a uh, facing up thing like that sideways and now in this floating area we want to do the exact same thing as we did before so now it should look like that so I will go ahead and just uh, place these right here like this and now connect this with sideways logs sideways logs have the little floating part sideways logs more sideways logs and the floating part once again more sideways logs and the last sideways logs like that so now it should have a uh, one part that actually sticks out which gives it a lot of more detail because now it actually makes these things look like it's supporting something which I personally find awesome now this area where we have this right here where I'm walking on right now we just want to uh, simply fill that in with oak wood now not the whole thing just this border just this little border right here now you can do whatever wood you feel like so like spruce birch whatever wood you like that looks the best but for this we're just going to use oak wood there we go and now don't fill in that because that is we're just supposed to fill in that part all right so that's that and now let's get my wool back so now the next thing we have to do uh, is we have to raise this up four again and is it four or is it yeah it is four wait is it no we have to raise it up five five more okay so five like that so raise these up five so one two three five one two three four five that is wrong right there and one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uh, I'm a complete failure. I can't place blocks. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. I don't know what the Spanish word for six is. And okay, there we go. So now it should look like this. And now pretty much what we want to do is copy this window right here. So just have cover or uh, fill this in with wool, but have a two by two gap like that. So now I'll go around and just do that real quickly. Yes, I will. Here we go. And I don't have that far of reach. And here we go. Let's put that like that. And now, oops. I am a failure. There we go. Same thing. The last two windows. Now, if you have rolled at it, this is actually a lot easier because you can just... Oh, three, oh, four more windows. Come on! Uh, if you have rolled at it, you can just make one and then just copy it and rotate it and copy and rotate it. But I am legit, so I will uh, I will do it all by hand. Now, all of these buildings I've built by hand. Uh, none of them I've actually used rolled at it. So I do take a little bit of time thinking out these builds, but I usually do it in advance. Okay, so now you should have a uh, top part missing we're gonna do the exact same thing down here as we did up here so I'm just gonna take my spruce wood and do that with it so sideways logs and here we go sideways logs excellent but yeah as I was saying I actually do take a little bit of time I usually pre plan these out like I'll just take a day and build a bunch of stuff uh, that is a spoiler <laughs> but um so yeah, now now your building, if you're following along, should look like this. Now we have to do the same pillar effect. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go to the very top. We're not gonna go to the top. We wanna go one below the top. So oops, that's jungle. My bad. Uh, we wanna go one below it like that. So you should have a top part that is missing. So we're gonna do the exact same things. But 
what I mean, but a boom, that's wrong. Here we go. And now do that. I'm failing. There we come on. There we go. Boom, boom, and boom. So now if you're following along, it should look a lot like uh, how I built it here. Now actually for this side right here, there's nothing to support it, so I actually take break this one and bring it up one so it should look like that same thing with the other side just these two uh, two sides like that so they should be up sh up one from uh, from these two so now pretty much what we have to do now is lay the roof we have to lay the roof so pretty much what we're gonna do is this block this whole column right here we're just gonna take our stone stairs do the exact same thing as all my other previous builds and pretty much do it like that and always always have the little overhang like that so that is how the roof is gonna go and my keys are freaking out now pretty much like on my other builds we're gonna do the upside down stair the right side up stair the upside down stair the right side up stair upside down right side up upside down right side up upside down right side up and stop when you get to this middle block same thing on the other side so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this Oops, I'm failing at blocks. Place that right there. Have the little floating part. Now, oops, fail. Upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, oops, upside down, right side up, and stop when you get to the middle. Now, you should have a one block gap like here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some cobblestone. We're gonna fill that in like so, and actually no, we're not. We need we actually need our uh, slab. What am I talking about? So we're gonna need a cobblestone slab, and we're gonna place it on the top half like that. So it should give a little like full block right there. Let's get rid of that. Get back my stair, and now pretty much do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that quickly. Boom, 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 boom. Now this is um, this is where world edit actually like comes in handy because you can do a roof in like five seconds and that's like taking a long time five seconds I mean I can do it in like two and a half two point five five two seconds I don't know all right so here we have the uh, middle gap take our st uh, copstone slab place it on the top half and then we can throw that away get back our stone stair. And now, instead of a flat roof, what we're actually going to do <clears throat> is we're going to take stairs and place it to the opposite direction of its facing. So, if it's this, if the roof is going that way, it's going to go that way, and this side is going to go like that. So that is how it should look like. Now, what we need to do again is actually connect these up. Uh, the bottom part of the stair needs to be connected with stone slabs, so should look a little something like that. Now, pretty much the last thing to do is just. Uh, fill in the roof so uh, I'll go ahead and do this so here we go here we go and now the reason I'm not putting in a chimney yet I always save the chimney for last because it just makes everything a lot easier when you uh, put it in uh, later uh, suppose rather supposed to now because I mean then you gotta like plan out and when you just have it all built and then just, then just uh, break the blocks that are in the way it's just a lot easier in my opinion and I think a lot of you will agree with me too so here we go. This is a lot easier than uh, the last build I did, the pavilion, where I had uh, like a million stairs. I can't see from here because uh, my render distance is really low because I have a toaster 5000. Yep, it's got a hamster wheel on it, and yeah. All right, so other side of the roof. Fail. I'm really good at placing blocks, and I really wish the creative drift was gone. Uh, somebody make a mod for that, please. Plocks. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I have to go back to RuneScape. No. <laughs> Just ignore what I said. Uh, I have to be punched in the face now. Okay, so here we go. Roof is almost complete. And then we can build the rest of the house. Here we go. God, I'm really good at placing blocks, aren't I? Wow, look how it looks. Pro block placing skills. Right here. MLG block placer. There we go. And the roof is pretty much done. 
Sweet. Now the roof is done. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this little part right here with the window. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to continue it up these, uh, up these uh, pillars. So we're going to keep going this up until it hits the top of this part. And now we're just going to continue like that. There we go. And now, hold on a minute. Okay. So have it bring up like that. And now we just want to fill in this these triangle, half triangle parts with uh, wool. With wool. Wool. And people are slamming their doors. All right, there we go. And now to for the window, we're going to just break the middle block next to it, next to it, and above it. So it should look like that. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's bring this all the way up to the roof. To the roof. The roof. Fill these half triangle parts in with uh, wool and there we go so now what we get, next thing we want to do is pretty much do the same thing break it like that not like that but like that and like that so there is what the top window looks like and now our house doesn't actually have any windows so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glass panes or glass blocks whatever you care and just fill all in the windows and now we can have some windows. That's the door. So actually, we can just go ahead and place our door down like like that. There we go. And now, same thing. Take our glass panes. Do the upstairs. And then the next thing we're going to do is the lay floors. We're going to do lay floors. We're going to lay floors. I'm punny. There we go. And sweet. And we got it to the top half. And here we go, here we go, here we go, bada bing, bada boom. Alright, sweet, now the third floor windows. As you can see, this is a very long building house, and building this in survival would be a pain in the arse because of how many resources there are. So now, pretty much the next thing we have to do is we have to place our wooden floor. You can use whatever wood you prefer. I prefer oak wood because it is the best, so I'm just going to break all this stone. All this lay stone, all the lay stone. There we go. And put that back. There we go. Uh, put that back. Break that. Give me that door. And pretty much now, just fill it all in with the lay wood. Lay wood. Mahogany wood. Mahogany. Mahogany. I'm sorry. That was really, really stupid. There we go, that is our floor down. We can actually place back our door, like so. And now, like our other build, that build over there, we have this little jungle wood hut. Now, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna place fences uh, both sides of the door, like that. Take our jungle wood stairs, put it in the middle, put put it on uh, that side, put another one on this side. So it should have a like turned area right there, and that's what it should look like. Now, the reason I didn't go for oak wood is because, well, it really wouldn't look, mm, kind of hard to explain but just jungle wood makes it look nice and in my opinion it does now actually one thing I forgot to actually do is we need to take some uh, cobblestone slabs and place and on the top half of the stairs that are facing out like that on the roof there we go so now it has like these little hinges I almost when I look at this I just feel like I can pick it up like I'm trying to pick it up with my hands right now and I just hit my screen uh, that probably really made an awful noise. Okay, so now, <laughs> for the second floor, what we're going to do is we're not going to use uh, wooden blocks. We're going to need uh, some oak wood slabs, and that's my freaking air freshener. So now what we want to do is we want to place it on the top half of the uh, wood blocks, like so. So I'll just go ahead and place all these. Oh my god, what's with all the background noise? Seriously, man. People slamming their doors shut. Air fresheners going off, and... So that is the top floor. Now the reason I use uh, wooden slabs because that actually makes the roof look taller, even though it's occupying the same block space. So as you can see, it makes the ceiling look a lot taller than it is. And uh, see, so yeah, let me just get up in there. There we go. And now pretty much the same thing for the third floor. Now yes, it's a very big house. This is almost like a mansion. So it's gonna be like house slash mansion type dealio. Well, it's not really a mansion. It doesn't have the size it looks small on the outside it may look small on the outside but it's uh it's quite big on the inside this house there we go and sweet so that is pretty much all the 
oops, that is pretty much all the uh, floors done. Now what we want to do, you can use stairs if you want, but I prefer ladder for this particular build. We want to go in the uh, second block right here. Oops, we want to go on this block right here. So pretty much we want to go to the uh, far back corner, not this one because it's right next to the door. We want to go to this corner when we walk in. Break that block right there. Put ladders right there. And go up them. Now the second closest block we want to just put it on this middle beam right here and this way we can go up to the third floor and I like how when you have it on the middle beam it just makes it look a lot better and yes we got our ladders hop down here and now the last thing two two more things we have to do we have to make the uh, things right here so that it's pretty easy so I'll show you how to do that first you want to find uh, you can either do both sides or one side I'm just gonna do uh, I'm actually going to do both sides, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to want to find the center, or you can really have it wherever you want, but I'm going to use the center for this, and what we're going to do is we're going to want to leave this row alone, we're going to want to go up to the second row, break this, break this, break this, place a uh, spruce wood there, place a spruce wood there, break that middle block right there, have this turned, and then uh, have this try to turn, yeah, have that turned, and then have this turned, have that turned right there. And now, next thing we want to do is uh, take ourselves a cobblestone slab, put it right here. Now, we want to uh, just put a placeholder block right there. And now we want to face a stone stairs facing, facing uh, that way. So there we go. Oh my God, what did I just do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm misplacing everything. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to take a cobblestone block and just simply place it right there and now since this is minecraft and it's just extremely buggy if we were if we were to put a glass there as you can see it acts like a plain block like that so as you see we have that four way <laughs> four way uh, as you can see it has it right there so pretty much what I do for the time being is I just take a simple glass block and place it one back like so now you can't really notice it but it still looks good so I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side but instead I will do it rather quickly because I want to there we go and now like that and then break that and now take this and next window I did not place it there we go and now just break that put the cobblestone right there put that uh, block right there and as you can see we have ourselves two winders Winders, and now the final and last thing we need to do is make the chimney. Now this is completely optional. Uh, this chimney t actually is safe; it will not burn down your house. As you can see, it's 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 close. It's close. Yeah, it is. It's very close. And here, I'll try to like make it burn. Uh, as you can see, it won't. It actually won't uh, burn anything. So, uh, if I place a block right here, I'm not on a server, just so anyone knows, I'm, I'm, you know, not on a server, and, yeah, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't burn, and put that iron bar back right there, there we go, and now let's go, uh, let's go build it, so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it right here, so here's the door, and it's gonna just go right here, you can actually put it wherever you want, but, uh, I would not put it on a uh, side like this, I would have it on a side like this, with the windows. So what we're going to do is we're just going to break this whole 3x3 three three area like so. We are going to want to scratch my nose. Okay. <laughs> we are going to want to place two bricks here, two bricks here. Uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, nope, screw it. Just one brick right there, and then we're going to want to place... Uh, oh, yeah. I am, I'm screwing up. Place two place two bricks right there two brick stairs facing each other like this like that so we're gonna want to do it like that now pretty much what we're gonna do is the fire is gonna go here so get some nether rack place the nether rack right there and now pretty much we're standing on here we just want to break all the blocks that are above us don't worry we will fix it later we want to break the block uh, behind us so this block right here oh fail Push windows right there there we go and we want to break these side ones right here. So just go up. I like flying up and just breaking it all. Same thing on the other side. Bada bing, bada boom. And now pretty much, oops. Yeah. 
Okay, now what we have to do now is we want to take our bricks and go up as high as you want. Um, I like to honestly having a high chimney, mostly because it just looks really nice. So, uh, although I do have one certain particular friend that I'm not going to name names who uh, likes a short chimney and likes other things that I don't like. And he knows who he is too. Now pretty much it's going to look like this. What we're going to do is we're going to break this, these blocks right here. And so pretty much it's just a star shape. And uh, yeah, so now place your brick right here. And now just bring this block all the way up out of the ceiling. So here we go. There we go. And now we're going to take our brick stairs and have a little crown thing like this at the top. Oops. There we go. And now a completely optional thing. This is just for aesthetic aesthetics. And if you're rich, you can use... Uh, you can use uh, uh, cobwebs as actually smoke so I will go ahead and just do that really quickly there we go and now pretty much the house is complete we just need to take our iron bar put it right there oops what am I doing flint and steel <laughs> oh flint one flint there break that put that right there and there we go so the house is complete yay I know this was a very long video I was not even looking at the counter uh, so yeah now uh, one thing we can also do is put a upside down stairs under the uh, little windows right there and yeah so that is uh that's the house for uh, for today um, so this uh, this is also a my 1000 subscriber video uh, which I just figured I'd tie in so we have uh, a medieval build and a 1000 subscriber video all in one so uh, this is the house I built for you guys, and yeah, so uh, once again, I would just like to thank you all for subscribing. I just cracked my knuckle. I would like to thank you all for subscribing, and if you are not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be doing a bunch more of these builds, and also you should check out my Skyblock series and all that cool stuff. So so yeah, that is pretty much for today, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I um, thank you for all subscribing, and um... Anyways, enough rambling. That's pretty much today. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And thanks for subscribing once again. And see you guys later. And goodbye.